Hey guys, what's going on? Jed Scott here. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to look at that Hemi for a second. Okay. And Wizard Dust. No, I'm just playing. Uh, so, it's beautiful out in Kansas, finally. But instead of working on that 68 charge that needs to get done, we're going to work on four-speed pedals. I want to do something a little bit educational. So this is the uh, four-speed, well, this is an automatic pedal assembly for a B-body Chrysler. Uh, year range to year range, there you go. This set up here, our set of B-body clutch pedals. Well, clutch pedal, brake pedal. Look how nice those are. Those came out of the uh, car that that four-speed came out of, which tells you very low miles. And the Dana as well, so... Um, but don't know why we got a bunch of forcers stacked up. We're gonna find out. Never done this before. My orders and parts from my buddy Dan Brewer, who does the four-speed stuff you see him on TV with graveyard cars. But said I needed that plate, and I see exactly where it's got to go. You know, there's not a whole lot of reference material on the web for how to do this, so this is gonna be fun. Um, you guys will be learning with me as I go, and hopefully we can get this shit fixed. You know, and I've always got a reference. Got a really rusty set of pedals right there. Well, pedal. Um, those I'm not using. I'm using these because these have a nice, you know, light rust on them. Where those ones sat outside. And this one's got a really nice uh, brake light switch. So, yeah, we got the camera set up. We actually have a tripod now. Look at how professional we're getting. Damn. That's pretty cool. And uh, just to allude something else, there's a hood, there's a hood. Oh yeah, it's gonna happen. So yeah, we're gonna uh, be working on this today. So I'm gonna do my best to leave this in as instructional as possible. And if I fuck up, I will let you know. All right guys, let's get to work. All right. <clears throat> so the first guy we're gonna be taking loose Moved us to this side because my toolbox is right next to me. A lot quicker, easier access. So, you gotta take this nut and this nut loose. We're gonna make sure it's in the shot. Yep. Move you a little bit closer. These two. You gotta undo this brace. And first things first is when you're recording, just put the wrong socket on so that way you look like a dumbass. I couldn't find my camera, so these were already kind of loose, and I was like, well, I should go find my camera. I bet you everybody will want to see this, especially when I fail. So, that's your bracket, you know, we're going to move this off the side, because that's not needed right now. Now, normally you would mark where all these are, because as you can see in this bracket, there are adjusters. So normally you would mark it with a sharpie or a paint pen, but uh, as you can see where the rust is decolored. So we don't have to worry about that. For some reason my phone don't have its page on. Sorry, I'm so disorganized at the moment. And we're going to grab ourselves a crescent wrench. Now in the wrong drawer. Because the next nut we're taking loose is this guy. And on the other side squared off so we're gonna need something to hold that so we got that and then we're gonna take this uh, 7 16 socket off and exchange it for 9 16 because that's just the way we roll It'd also be a good idea to hit everything a little bit of a WD-40, nogger loose, whatever have you, for uh, loosening everything up. But everything on this pedal assembly was stored really nicely, so everything's coming loose really nice. Alright, so that one's off. And it's stuck inside the socket. So, another nut loose. And that came out really easy. And just like that, there's the pin, and you 
pull that loose. We'll put all that back together. And you see in there, there's these little plastic bearings. So, we're actually going to pull it back loose, get that guy shoved in there. And get this put back together, so that way it stays together. There we go. And there we go. That's off now. So, we're going to take our actual four speed pedals and pull the big pin out. And we're going to put the brake pedal on. Now, as you see, the brake pedals are almost the same. I'm going to make sure you can see those. Yeah. This one's a little bit longer. And then, of course, you know, obviously the size of the actual pedal itself. So that one's out of here. It looks like this one's supposed to have a spacer in it. Hmm. I ain't got that. I'm going to say that's what these washers are for. It's probably supposed to be an actual spacer, but, uh, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Went on Jedediah Scott's channel. Don't do as Jedediah Scott does. You're going to do this the right way. There's always the right way, and there's always my way. Let's take a quick intermission and call my buddy Dan Brewer, who, uh, does mainly all the big four-speed swap stuff. He's the one who supplied me with my clutch and all sorts of parts for my four speed that have been missing and um he's one who supplied me with that bracket and a bunch of other stuff anyways Bruce performs go check him out super cool dude not trying to advertise i'm not sponsored by him but just a great guy he'll answer any of my questions but yeah we pause the camera because this was worrying me you know i said no big deal but i was just curious why there was a gap and he said there's not supposed to be and when you compare the old automatic pedal, there is no gap. It's like someone cut that. So, yeah. But he said, this will work fine. I like that better, the nut, versus a stack of washers. Yeah, it's a matter of preference. So, we're going to get everything slid on here. And it's literally this simple. I can't believe how simple it is to convert automatic pedals to manual pedals. So, let's get the little camera rolling. Show you how to finish it. And get this baby looking pretty sorry about that guys I had to go find some stuff um, for the warchers that I came with this saddle I'm not gonna say we're the right way so that didn't work so what I got in here is a big nut don't know if you can see that but yeah got a big old nut when life gives you lemons you throw a big nut at it I don't have actual bushings. I don't have, you know, spacers. I don't have fancy tools. I got me. And me has to make do with what me has. So I'm going to pause this again, get this put together, and then show you what it looks like. Alright, guys. No more messing around. Let's get this puppy done. Pull that back out. Just like that. And that'll slide through our very very fancy spacer into our brake pedal at some point when it decides to stop being a dick because we're recording i'm gonna sell this like a 671 blower you assemble it from upside and from the side come on come on we got a hitch in our giddy up
For all the people who actually know what they're doing, please don't laugh at me too bad. So, I'm going to go beat that in with a hammer. That wasn't so bad. A couple taps with the hammer, it went in. Look at that. I'm already banging gears, man. I'm already banging gears. Spray that down a little bit. Everything's still super loose. Alright, we're going to get that tightened down. still spins good. Well, that one's a little stiff. That spins good because that's on bearings, but this is a little bit tight. I don't want that that tight. That's my brake pedal. You don't want your brake pedal being tight. So we're going to get this taken back apart. That loosened up, so let's not make it so damn tight. Then. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. It's that simple. All right, now we're back on track. So we're gonna add this brace back on. May or may not be the right way. This is how it came off. So I'm going to put it back on just the way it came off. Exchange the 9 16 for the 7 16 Make sure the ratchet's turned the right way. If there's a torque spec, I got it memorized. This is how we torque everything. Click. Click. Torque to spec. I'm kidding. When we actually build engines, we actually do torque everything. And there's your four-speed pedal assembly. By the way, I also grinded, took out all the threads and that with my hog. And then smoothed it out with the sanding stone. So, as you can see... Everything moves nice and free, which is what I want, and what you want, too. You don't want stuff being tight, unless it's your girlfriend. You want her tight. And then this bracket right here is an extra brace. It bolts on right there. Well, it's supposed to. Well, that's fun. <coughs> that's interesting. That did fit. Hmm. I'm doing this wrong. I have to be. Oh. I'm a dumbass. So, I gotta take this back apart because I just realized the shaft also holds this on. Sweet. Coming back apart for the 12th time. But you know what? I'll look like an idiot so that way you guys don't have to. A little bit of humility goes a long ways. I'm not mad. This is pretty simple stuff. So we're going to take her back apart again. Put our brace in. And um, all that jazz. So you guys jam out to some funky free licensed music while I do this and suffer with no music.
sure you're still in frame. We're gonna move you back. This doesn't make any sense. So like I said guys, at the beginning of this video, learning experience for all of us, I meant that, and by all of us I mean me, I'm going to pull that back in, that goes through there. There we go. That's how it's supposed to go together. Alright, let's get everything lined back up and not do that. I was really hoping everything would just stay together, but I should have known better. So we're going to put that on like so. be so much easier if someone wouldn't have cut this up. But the old saying of you get what you pay for is true. Holy crap, I didn't have to fight that that much. tighten all that up we're gonna get this bracket bolted down and uh, see how that works no way this random bolt I had laying here is the right size well I think that bolt is going to become a permanent addition to this Now that's on. Gonna make sure this is all the way through. That holds that in place as well. And then we're gonna move that around. Put our washer back in there. Put our nut back on. I said nut. That's not funny. That's not even mature. So now the test of our things, yep, everything is still limber, that's good. Make sure everything is like nice and tight. There you guys go. That is how you convert. Oh wait, we're not done yet, my bad. Got to put this bracket back on. Tighten those up, and then that is it. There you guys go. That's how you convert automatic pedals to manual. Let's get the real camera out.
Alright, so the most important part of this video is right now. You've seen me fumble, fall, fail, everything. This is how your four speed pedals are supposed to look. As you can see, you have this is your manual pedal, brake pedal. It's supposed to be that much longer. See that nut in there? I ground out the thread, smoothed it out. And that is my spacer because it's supposed to be, you know, the full length of this guy. But someone took it upon themselves to cut it for some reason. Don't know why. Um, this is your extra brace that I bought from Dan Brewer. So there's already a hole in the automatic pedal assembly, which I'll show you on this other set of pedals right there. That guy, bottom one, that's already there from the factory. And I just had a random bolt laying here. It came off of Dad's charger. Perfect fit. <coughs> and then this is your four-speed pedal pin bolt, basically. Here's what your automatic one looks like. It's real short. This one goes through this bracket into the manual pedal sleeve through there then all the way through into that nut right there and that's you know it's that simple you know at first I was like man this is gonna be a pain in the butt and yeah it was a pain in the butt number of times I took this back apart but um, really simple actually anybody can do this it's a lot cheaper than buying a brand new pedal assembly I'll tell you that much because a complete set even from Dan Brewer is pretty expensive but if you happen to have just the pedals and you have an automatic brake assembly, you can buy that bracket and convert it. And like four minutes after you watch this video, if you do it from scratch and you don't know what you're doing like I did, you'll probably take 20 minutes. But yeah, that's simple. I am so happy with that. That is going to be cool in Jezebel my blue ratty charger made it up to that with a pistol grip with custom wood grips made by Nick Timbacus oh with an American powertrain uh, clutch setup that's gonna be sweet oh and uh, here's our clutch pedal rod Gotta put that back on so we don't lose it so anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video I know it wasn't super exciting but um, this is something I need to get done, get it out of the way. It's done now. Bam, boom, bong. Done, diddly, dumb. I just wish my dad was here so that way he could have uh, entertained you guys because you guys seem to like him. So let's uh, close this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much once again for a 1,000 subscribers. That's amazing. You guys are the best. And... Uh, According to YouTube, uh, I'll know by the end of April if the channel is going to be making money. And when and if we can start making money again, I'm going to put that money back. And I'm going to put that money into something, a giveaway. Our first couple of payments, you know, you get paid every month. Put that money back. And I'm going to do a giveaway just for you guys to give back. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.